Hello and welcome to the second channel for Tales from the Trip. I'm your host, the Trip Keeper, and on today's video, we are going to be looking at a coconut story that is very popular on Reddit, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know how many people made videos on this before, but hey, we're going to do it today. Maybe it's your first time hearing about it. I definitely didn't hear about it up until now. So, um, yeah, we had to make the, the title of the video not, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying not to draw too much attention um, with the title, but because the story involved is very interesting to say the least, um, and we we just want you to hear it, and we don't want it to get taken down. So um, basically, this is a today I fucked up story on Reddit r slash tifu. It's about tifu by coming into a coconut. Yes, you heard that right. By coming into a coconut. Um, you guys ever do this? Not me. Not at least not yet. We'll see after this. I mean, shit, I might do it. Um, we got our Miller High Lifes. We're drinking. This is my second one. It's about to be a banger. This is be a classic Trip Keeper video right here. I don't know what I'm going to make the thumbnail. I think I might just make it a, a blurry photo of a coconut. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. That might work out. But, um, yeah, so... We're gonna read this story. Uh, this is the fuck up of the year in NSFW, so if you guys get triggered by coming into coconuts, don't watch this video. Um, all right. This tea food didn't happen today, but a, quite a few years back, and this came out seven years ago, so like I said, maybe you guys have seen this before. For obvious reasons, I'm using the throwaway account as my family knows my main Reddit username. Could you imagine if they saw it on his main username and they bring it up every Christmas? Hey, remember that time you uh, talked about fucking a coconut? Yeah, me too. Um, anyway, around eight years back, I lived in northern Mozambique. Sorry if I mispronounced that. A coastal southern African country with quite a warm climate. My mother... Did my mother at the time was going through a health nut phase and only buying food she deemed healthy enough. One of these was coconuts. Coconuts are very healthy. She would buy several coconuts a week to use in food from the local market. I used to use coconut oil on everything, dude. I would cook it, all my shit in it. It was actually really good. And you could, like, I used to not like coconut before, but I'm a big fan of the flavor now. But when I was a kid, dude, you could not pay me to eat anything coconut. I hated it. But now it's like, as your taste buds change, it's it's a whole different ball game now. Anyway, being a horny teenager, I fapped in regular intervals. Very interesting sentence right there. Unfortunately, there were some severely stressful examinations coming up for me, and as such, my fapping reached a higher peak than usual, and I was feeling pretty sexually frustrated. One day, I hear that my mother is going to be out for pretty much the entire afternoon. <laughs> Brings back memories. Every time my, my mom left for a couple hours, you know I went. Dude, my record for jacking off in a day is four times. Dude, my dick was like beat to death after that day. I remember that. And I was jizzing in the toilet papers and paper towels, whatever you name, dude. I was jizzing in everything that day. That was like when I was 12, 13 years old. I don't know. It was like, it was at least over 10 years ago. It was a while ago. Um, but yeah. To my Horny me decides that it would be a fantastic idea to fuck a coconut. Honestly, if you think about it, the coconut, it's a very, very nice, you know, center to it, very nice inside. So I'm not even honestly surprised by his reasoning for this. Honestly, to this day, I cannot fathom why I thought that would be a good idea, but my train of thought back then was clearly somewhat clogged. No, dude, trust me, it's not as crazy as you think, dude. Um... I ended up grabbing the coconut drill and through 20-ish minutes of concerted effort, end up creating a hole large enough for me to stick my porker into. I decided to require some lube and grab the nearest slippery thing, some butter, before shoving, shov shoving, shoving it into the coconut followed shortly by my meat. I fuck the coconut and it actually feels pretty damn good so I blow my load, shove the coconut under my bed and continue about my day. Why would you keep it under your bed, all right? You might have, your fuck up is definitely doing that, not doing it, you know? I see that more as the problem, you know? I mean, that coconut's gonna spoil down there, you know? Can you imagine just leaving a coconut with jizz and coconut juices open, you know? that That's gonna create some nasty bacteria right there. For the next week, the coconut is my savior. 
When I want to get off, I simply take it out and fuck it in its delightfully tight hold, made better each time by accu accumulating volumes of my semen and butter acting as a lubricant. Okay, so he kept it, and he was doing it. Alright, well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's heaven. Now, before I continued continue, I'd best mention that at the time our area was experiencing quite humid, muggy weather, which exacerbated an already existing fly problem. Disgustingly fat, bloated flies were commonly fl found around our house, and the exterminators couldn't really do anything because it was a localized area problem that would go away in the winter. How cold does it get in Africa? About a week and a bit after the initial coconut fuck, I'd be using it pretty much every day since then. I begin to notice a few more flies than usual, as well as an odd, unpleasant smell about my room. Well, no shit. Must be the coconut, right? So I decided that I'll fuck it once more before I throw it out and get a new one. Worst mistake I have ever made. I had to bring out my my voice for that one. Once, once you add that into the channel, like if you ever write a story, always say this is the biggest mistake I've ever made or like it's about to be the biggest mistake something something similar to that because I will read it in such a tone that will make you be like whoa worst mistake I have ever made you see the reason for the increased number of flies was that the coconut was evidently in hindsight a nearly perfect pl uh, 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 a nearly perfect place to lay eggs oh my god God, that is nasty. I did not read this story before I did this. Like I said, when I read stories, maybe I didn't even say it, but when I read stories on here, I want to be surprised, okay? And I'm definitely surprised. As I penetrate the coconut one last time, I begin to feel a strange wriggling sensation. Puzzled, I pull my cock out to discover that it is covered in rotten and moldy butter and semen and teeming with tiny fucking maggots. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh. They were wriggling all over my dickhead, and some were even trying to force their way up into my urethra. Dude. Okay, so last summer when I went to New Jersey, the, I I brought a clam home. Um, a sea, or whatever the fuck. It was seashell, I guess. No, it was a clam. Um. And I took it home as a souvenir because I wanted to, you know, that's what you do on vacation, take home sand or whatever. And um, I brought it home, I left it in a bag, but I didn't even realize that uh, there could be things inside that are eating it away. Oh my god, the smell that came from that open coconut. I saw that it opened and I'm like, oh, what the hell, it opened? Because it was closed before and it was just like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. And all I saw in there were maggots everywhere, and there it was empty. Like, it was disgusting. And it was, I mean, the smell was just horrific. It was like if you took a shit on a dead sea, sea sand where there all these dead fish are at, and like, yeah, it was horrible. Um, alright. I screamed and threw the coconut against the wall, which made the situation worse by spilling the contents. Um, yeah, don't do that. Do not do that. Hours of vigorous cock scrubbing, vomiting, and cleaning the remnants were spent reflecting on what the fuck I was doing with my life. Never again. Never. Again. TLDR. Don't fuck coconuts. Edit. Jesus, this exploded. I'm glad my maggoty experience made some people laugh because I sure cry every time I think back to it. Edit 2. RIP inbox. I can only imagine. Edit 3. Thanks for the gold. It eases my shame a little. I'm thinking of doing an AMA for you more curious individuals. Maybe if the post has 10,000. It's quite uncomfortable to discuss though as the visceral memories come back. Edit 4. My shame has never been this large. 47.1 thousand upvotes. My story of coconut fucking is now permanently etched into Reddit's history. Lord save me. Well, now it has 114 thousand upvotes. Can I upvote it still? Uh, yeah, it goes away. It definitely one of the craziest stories I've ever read. I mean, do I need to explain anymore? I mean, that's just crazy. Um... So, this person said, I get that your horny brain made you think that fucking a coconut was a good idea. That's not even what surprises me. But your brain is supposed to return to normal after you blow your load. So why did your normal brain tell you it's fine to leave an open, open coconut in a warm room with semen and butter in it? And most importantly, how are you not disgusted at the idea of fapping by using your several days old semen as lubricant? 
that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, yeah, I don't know. The maggots kind of made the lube uh, itself. You know, maggots are slimy, so... I mean, this is just completely nasty. Sorry if you were eating or anything. I mean, I didn't expect it to be gross. I just thought it was going to be a funny story, but uh, it ended up being nasty. Um, but yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is the fuck up of the year. Fuck up of the century. <laughs> fuck up of the entirety of Reddit. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> I think my favorite part of the story is the 20 minutes you spent drilling the hole in the coconut. <laughs> that's, that's some horny shit right there. You're just really like dedicated to doing it. Um, but no, honestly, like a coconut... It doesn't sound like a bad idea, but you would have to throw it away for sure. Like, it could be like a healthy fleshlight. I'm sure, you know, the inside of a coconut may be healthy for your skin on your cock. You know, I don't I don't really know. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a health nut. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't know what I am. I just read stories, and I, and I give my commentary on it. So don't even listen to me, especially with my main channel. Do not do any of the acts mentioned in those videos, or else I'll get fucking terminated again. Um, but yeah, uh... That was a good story. I'm glad I lasted it out past 10 minutes because um, it didn't look very long, but I'm glad I, I had enough to say that we're, we could have extended it. But um, yeah, uh, let me know if you want me to do any more today. I fucked up stories in the future uh, because I will do it. Um, but I don't know if anyone will top that one because that was just incredible. And I'm sure people have made videos on it. Like I said, I'm sure I'm not the first person doing this, but hey, it's a different look on it, different perspective. What are you gonna do, huh? They still teach us about Hitler, the Nazis. That's just like this, you know, a different, a different kind of lesson, you know. You know, you can, you can never stop learning about about stuff that that's happened like that. That's very important in society. We'll never stop learning about Hitler. We'll never stop learning about slavery. We'll never stop learning about fucking prohibition. Whatever it is, we're gonna learn about it every time our kids are in school. So. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to spread the wealth and another person's going to talk about this coconut story tomorrow. Um, it's going to be me as a clone because clones are real, right? <laughs>